Hey guys, it's John from John's DIY Playground. Today we're out camping and I wanted to give you 11 quick tips on how to upgrade or improve your camping experience if you have a travel trailer like mine. This is the Imagine um, made by Grand Design 2600 RB. And most of the tips I'm gonna share are applicable to any travel trailer. I've got five tips for outside and six for inside. So let's get started. The first tip I have has to do with this breakaway cable. So my breakaway switch is down here and I got rid of the stock cable that came with it and I got this coiled breakaway cable, which is much nicer. Um, this is a six foot length, but you can see it starts to get taut even when I start pulling it a foot or two away. So for any travel trailer, I would recommend buying the six foot version. I'll link to that in the description below the video. The next tip I have has to do with the power jack. Most power jacks are actually turned 90 degrees and face forward. The problem with that is most trucks, when you try to put the tailgate down, it hits the front edge of this uh, power tongue jack head. There's a video on YouTube that I'll link to that shows how to take this jack head and just simply rotate it 90 degrees using the screws that are inside here. You actually don't need to move the screws down here or touch those whatsoever. It's a really cool pack. The next upgrade I have is this flagpole. So it actually holds two flags. It's from Harbor Freight and it's telescoping. So it comes down in sections really easily. Folds up to less than eight feet and it stores easily in the under storage of my travel trailer. And to mount it, I simply put a post with two U-bolts onto the chassis here and the frame. And I just pass the pole through here and just put a block on the ground to protect it from the sand and the dirt. And that's it easy up easy down there's a light on the top that also charges during the day and comes on automatically at night i'll link to that in the description below the next small but vital upgrade is to the storage door of your travel trailer as you notice i've added a bottle cap a uh, bottle opener that uh, works with glass bottles so you know once you get to camp you gotta get the party started so Cheers. The next upgrade I made is to this cap right here at the end of the sanitary line. So let's say you accidentally left one of the gate valves open or one of the gate valves is leaking and you discover that and you know what's happening. What you can do is take your sewer hose and put it underneath here and undo this smaller one. Let Make sure the gate valves are closed, of course, and let the drippings go in there. Then it gives you time to take this cap off without making a huge mess, then attaching the sewer hose completely and draining your tanks. The next upgrade idea I have is these Oxygenetics LED strips. Um, they're very handy. They charge uh, through this mini USB port. comes with the cable, and on the other side it has three modes. It has off, on, and then automatic. And when it's an automatic, it's using this motion sensor. So I put them under my cabinets and let me show you what it looks like. It's really handy, especially when it gets uh, darker at night. You open the door, and then as soon as it sees motion from the hand, light comes on, and you can easily see what's in the back of the cabinet. Do the same thing in the lower cabinet. Works great. In the bathroom cabinet, we actually added compression rods, these spring rods, to hold things in so when you're going down the road and you open the door, stuff doesn't come flying out. Also added these magnetic catches for some of our things just to keep things organized. Also on the side of the sink wall, we mounted this extra swing out mirror so you can look at your pretty self in the mirror and do your makeup or whatever. It has two modes. There's a, a zoomed in lens and then there's a straight lens. Hi everybody. Um, works really good and then folds right flat up against the wall. In the shower for a splash of color, we just added these um, painted areas of the tile. So it's actually just a plastic liner right inside this uh, thing from top to bottom, plain white. So we just took some enamel uh, paint pens and created it like this to make the, uh, the shower stall pop out a little bit with some color. When we use the air conditioning, we noticed that there's a lot of heat loss. Um, or a cold air loss through the ceiling vents, even when they're close. So these cam cold cushions are excellent. They're meant for this application. The foil side goes up to help block some of the sun's radiation and it fits snugly into the opening and keeps the cold air in and keeps the hot out. 
When we're traveling down the road, I'm worried about the cabinets opening up and everything falling out. So what I did is I got these elastic, uh, I don't know what you call them, they're loops with plastic balls on the end. So the way you use it is you just put it through the cabinet doors, the handles, and place the ball through the loop. And just like that, you're protected. So if the doors try to open down the road, they won't be able to. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, please hit subscribe to be notified when new videos come out. This is John from John's DIY Playground. Have a great day.